Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you guys know I do really love myself a good lip product, but over the years since I've started my channel, I have whittled down my collection to pretty much what I'm going to show you today. So 10 different products that I really, really love, mostly lipsticks, but a few of them toe the line with being lip stains or balms. Um, and there's just like one gloss that I'm going to show you. So I really, really know what I like. I'm very, very picky. Um, I don't know what it is, but I find that a a lot of products just really bother me with lipsticks. They go crusty, they're sticky, um, the color is off. So these ones are really like my holy grail lip products and I'm so excited to share them with you. So let's get right into it. All of them are really wearable as well. I've worn each of these at some point at work. So I'm excited to show you things that are actually like quite easy to wear. And even if it's a brighter color, you can kind of make it work as a stain or lightly worn, or it's a great way to go from day to night as well. The first one definitely toes the line with being more of a balm than a lipstick but if you are wondering what I've been wearing in most of my videos any kind of fashion video where I just you know want to throw something on my lips and not have it kind of steal the show especially I just wear these um, products they're the Dior Attic Lip Glows. I love the original one but I've been playing around with the new um, edition ones as well. The coral one I think is probably the most underrated because it looks so strange in the tube like very orange clementine kind of but they change color on your lips and this one ends up being like the prettiest pinky coral once it's worn it's so pretty and then maybe the product that I've worn the most in videos this year ultra pink 008 color which is just so pretty just love these they're so easy you don't need a mirror they last really well like I'll reapply this a few times throughout the day and it actually does leave like a very light stain on the lips so I love Love products like that that are kind of like a little tech savvy in that they are many different things at once so Dior lip glows I know it seems pricey for a lip balm but for me it's replaced like so many different products and put them all into one that I really really love you can't make a video about lipsticks without talking about at least one MAC lipstick and I've whittled down my MAC lipstick collection so much I used to have so many they are great they have that signature vanilla scent, but my favorite color of all time, and this is really something special to me, is MAC Viva Glam 5. So other than the great charity element of it, it just is a really special color because it's a brownie nude that's a little bit more um, brownie that I would normally go for, but it somehow works on like every skin tone. There's a lot of articles that have been read, written about this lipstick and how it kind of looks good on everyone. I think what makes it really special to me though is that it's more or less the only product I'm going to show you today that has shimmer in it. The shimmer is so, 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 so fine in it and it's like a really pretty kind of gold shimmer that it actually looks like you've applied a gloss on top, but you get none of that gloopiness. So I think it's a really special product for that reason. And I've worn it so much in videos as well. So it has to be in this particular video. I used to have a real obsession with Max Angel lipstick. I don't know if you guys remember that it used to be like really, really big, that whole like light pink lip thing. I started realizing that it actually kind of doesn't really look that good on me. It washes me out a little bit. But I found a dupe of that lipstick that's a drugstore product. So this is Revlon Pink in the Afternoon. I've worn this so much. I've had multiple tubes over the years. I'm pretty sure it's still available. And it's so similar to Max Angel. But it's like a half shade darker. And it doesn't have that kind of frostiness. It's more of like just like lustrous kind of finish but it's still like on the matte side of things it's just like the prettiest light pink and it's pretty much like the only light pink in my collection at this point um, because it's easy to wear and it just it looks right on my skin and I think that would be the case for a lot of people as well like those kind of colors the nudes and the light pinks can be really hard to wear but that one is a really good one Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk and the lip liner that goes with it is the only lip liner that I own at this point I think it's amazing it looks good under any lipstick nude or bright and the Pillow Talk lipstick I have 
have to say is really good. It's um, just like a really pretty mid-toned mauve nude, so it's really easy to wear for a lot of skin tones, including my own. I also really like Bond Girl from this collection, the Matte Revolution. It's a really great color for fall, and I don't know where it is, so I wish I could show it to you, but I can't. Um, it's like a really nice, slightly darker version of Pillow Talk, so if your skin is a little bit darker, maybe you want to go with Bond Girl, um, or if it's like that fall kind of season or pillow talk is really great just like a basic mauve nude lipstick that just works for anything and it's so comfortable on the lips if you're looking for a really any color the matte revolution line from charlotte tilbury is worth the hype um, i know for a long time i was kind of like anti charlotte tilbury because i feel like it's so overhyped but a lot of the products are actually really good um, and especially the matte revolution lipstick line like the other ones don't really float my boat but that one is really something special because you get that matte look that has been so so trendy for the last few years but they're really comfortable on the lips so really really love that um then of course for those of you who watch my videos regularly you would know that of course i'm going to include my favorite lipstick of all time i only have to have like one lipstick i would hope i would get something balmy like this just for like easy wear but like if i could only have one true lipstick this would be it it's number four from um yves Saint Laurent, so ysl really classic rouge pure packaging this is my favorite line that they do um and if you're looking for again any color whether it be nude or like a brighter color really consider this because one tube will last forever forever yes it is like more of a luxury product but um it's so you'll get so much wear out of it because you can wear them as a stain and kind of like rub it into your lips for that kind of popsicle look or you can wear it as more of a classic lipstick if you find that you kind of want to wear red lipstick but it never seems to work for you I definitely used to feel like that number four which is rouge vermillon it's like a brick kind of red it's got more of like a blue undertone but it's not like really blue it's just like it's so good I love this lipstick so much it's the only lipstick I wear around the holidays it never looks garish it lasts for so long on the lips because the formulation has almost like a kind of powderiness that creates a stain in your lips and it fades really really evenly um, it's very very comfortable on the lips as well again it's kind of like a little bit more of like a matte satin kind of finish and there's so many great bright colors um, recently in some photos on Instagram where I was on a boat with my friends I wore the color 07 which is like a hot pink and again the colors are so well formulated for this line like 04 is the perfect kind of brick red and 07 could have been kind of 80s a little scary right wearing this kind of color like it can look dated really fast but somehow they made it work because it's got that brightness to it and it just looks really good um, it goes on really really evenly it never looks like yucky so Another color that I would find hard to wear if it wasn't from this line is the color 17, which is like more of a corally bright pink. And with my pink undertones in my skin, corals can kind of look a little off because I don't have that kind of olive -y skin tone. If you have olive -y skin, this would look freaking amazing, but it still looks good on me anyway. Like it just works. It's really well balanced between that pink and that orange. It's the perfect um, kind of midway between those two. And it's, yeah, not too, too bright. It's not got that kind of like neon thing going on that would make it much harder to wear. I really, really love the tint in oils. And I almost didn't include this in this video because I've heard that they're being discontinued. But I checked in Sephora, in Nordstrom, in Hot Renfrew, and they're still available. So I'm going to put it out there. I feel like for for a while they'll still be findable so it's you know sort of worth including all of the colors in this line are really great it's definitely got an unusual finish because it looks like a gloss but it's got that oily kind of feel to it in a good way though because it's got no stickiness so you get that glossy look with no stickiness at all which I've always been a big fan of and again like most of the other products that I really love it's got that kind of multi-purpose multi-faceted formulation in that you get the gloss you get a pretty color and then it dries down to a stain what I will say is I haven't cried too much over the um, tintin oils being discontinued sad as that is because they're 
introduced another line that's really great. So this is the new Volupte Liquid Color Balms and I got a nude from the line and it's really good but I'm not going to include it in this video because I'm only including exceptional products. Um, so this is the color 7 which is Grab Me Red which is the prettiest strawberry red. So I think between the color 04 in the Rouge Pure Coutures and this color you have all your bases covered because it's more of that like strawberry kind of bright red but because it's this formulation like it's a liquid color bomb so it's moisturizing and it's not super opaque then it's really easy to wear now moving on from YSL I do have another luxury product to show you and then we'll move into something more affordable actually um, this is from Tom Ford this was a birthday gift and it's such a cool product because again it's so creamy it has a nice gloss to it and a nice dimension but it dries down to to a stain and you can tell from the applicator that it is one of those really really like dark berry hues which again can be so hard to wear for real life like that kind of magazine editorial look with those really dark whiny lips that's hard to pull off for work but you still like maybe want to do that especially in the fall and so I found products that really work in order to create that look you know to be able to integrate that into your style but kind of make it work in a practical way and this product really does that amazingly and even though it's really pricey again there's so many different ways you can wear it because you can wear it really full coverage do several layers and it lasts forever and then you'll get a really great stain out of that or you can wear it as a stain right away by just kind of pressing it into the lips instead of dragging it across and you get just a really nice like I just ate a popsicle kind of look and it looks like a different color than if you wear it in a full coverage way which isn't to say that there aren't great products at affordable prices. So this I will link, um, I think it's available on Amazon, but it's also available in a lot of like Asian beauty stores. It's the Lasting Painting Kit. It's a Korean brand and it's so cool. This stain is like unlike any of the products that I've mentioned to you because it will not come off. It looks full coverage you can see the color it's like a really bright pink I also have the red and the more like orangey one they're all bright colors and if you're looking for something where you literally can eat like a full oily meal and your lips look the same at the end as at the beginning so it's not a stain in that like it has faded from full coverage to like more of a stained look it still looks exactly the same then you need to try these products I don't know what kind of voodoo magic they use to make it so long lasting but it is nice to have that where you just don't need to worry about reapplying at all because it stays on so well um, it takes like two stages of oil makeup remover to get this off your lips at the end of the day but it's such a treat the Amuse Bouche lipstick from Bite is all natural so if you're sort of conscious about that and putting stuff on your lips these are like food grades so they're amazing um, I love the packaging for them um, I think the price point is really right like it feels like a very luxurious lipstick it is more of a high-end price price point at Sephora but it's not like YSL expensive and you get amazing quality ingredients in it so I think it's just an amazing line that I'm always trying new things from and they have so many great formulations so many great colors and that is it for lipsticks I'm just gonna leave you with my favorite gloss as well um, I I have had so many glosses over the years Mac Chanel drugstore just every brand and there's only one that I keep going back to and I will still purchase because I find that I'm kind of a little bit over my gloss phase but um, this one is just so good because they have the prettiest colors they're so long-lasting and they somehow have managed to find the right balance with that plumping effect where like you do get a little tingle but it doesn't hurt and you really do get a super plump looking lip if that's what you're looking for like you just want something really plumping that's still gonna be really comfortable then definitely try Buxom they also have really good ingredients um, this color is Celeste it's a really really gorgeous like light peach and it's really really nice I find that the kits that they do for Buxom are a great way to try different gloss colors at kind of like an affordable price and they're also purse size so 
my lips are numb at this point. I hope that you guys have found this video helpful. I loved sitting here and chatting to you about lip products for a while. It's a real treat that I haven't done for a while. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you would like to see another installment on style, then make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!